Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2015 Toyota 4 Runner, we're gonna be checking out the Swagman XTC2 Tilt Platform Style Bike Rack. First impressions of the rack on the back of the 4 Runner, uh, I think it looks good. Um, just about any accessory you put on a 4 Runner looks right at home, so really can't go wrong there. But one of the uh, things that kind of separates this rack from some of the others is the fact that it's a more economical rack that still has a tilt-away feature, which I'll show you in a minute. It can actually fold down. And, you know, there's a lot of other racks out there that can do that, but a lot of times they're more of the uh, high-end racks. You know, so you get a lot of bang uh, for your buck with this one. And it's nice because you can actually fold this down when you have the bikes on it, right? And the whole point of that is to be able to get inside of your forerunner. So with this one, um, there's just a pin and clip down here. All right, and when you pull this out, you know, try to have a hold on the rack. So just to be on the safe side, you pop that out and then this can fold down. And then you're able to open up your hatch and get anything you might need in and out of the back. Uh, be careful though, you know, just depending on the type of bike you have. We have a, a pretty good size uh, mountain bike here and it is somewhat close to the pedal. I mean, there's a few inches to spare. Might be able to reposition it to give you some more, but uh, just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, now you got the room uh, you need to get anything you might need in and out of the back. The way uh, this rack is actually gonna work though, it's gonna hold your bike down in three spots um, and it can hold up to two bikes. Uh, but you're gonna have a frame hook here that puts downward pressure onto the bike, forces the wheels down into uh, the cradles, which are these here. So they kind of jams them down into that and then you have a strap, um, just kind of for some extra security there. But we'll go ahead and get this removed so we can have a better look at the rack. You wanna start with your straps. And then the way to get it off, everyone kind of has their own technique. And honestly, with me, it kind of just depends on the bike. Uh, it's a pretty big bike, it's somewhat heavy. So I'm gonna do it like this. I'm going to remove my first frame hook. And while you're holding on to this, pull that one off too. And some people can sneak it out. You know, with the Forerunner, you don't have a ton of space. Um, what I'm gonna do is lower this center mass. There's a pen you can pull out then swing that down and to me it just makes it more manageable for the inside bike obviously the outside bike here if you had two on would be a little easier but uh with all that out of the way now you know it's just going to avoid accidentally scratching your car or anything like that so one thing you do need to keep in the back of your mind is when you have this on the back of your forerunner it's going to extend the overall length of it right so if you want to load up your bikes the uh, night prior to going riding in the morning you know, and be able to pull this into your garage, uh, you might find this beneficial. Uh, the overall length that's going to add, we'll go from the bumper to the furthest point, which will be uh, around here. It's going to be about 25 inches. So it takes up a little bit of room, not a ton, but uh, it, it, there is uh, some distance there. Now this rack, it doesn't actually fold up to save space like some of them do, but it does fold up into a suitcase, so to speak. Um, and really, you know, you can drive around with it like that. That's fine. Um, you know, it's perfectly acceptable. But to me, this is more for those of you uh, who aren't gonna be uh, using it for a while and wanna keep it stored and out of the way. So you just pull these pins and those will swing up and you can lock them in. Sometimes they're kind of tricky to get lined up, especially when the rack is relatively new like this, you know, can get hung up on the paint, but uh, like this, it makes it pretty compact actually uh, to store. Um, so when the off season rolls around or whatever, you know, you can take this out, it's pretty lightweight. You can throw it in a closet or put it up in a shelf in the garage and you're not gonna have to deal with some big giant platform rack uh, taking up all your space. The rack is going to have a rise in the shank, uh, so that's always a bonus. You get a little more ground clearance out of it there. And it's also going to, I'm sorry, it's gonna work with two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Toyota. But it also works with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter, uh, class two hitches as well. Um, so if you have another vehicle in the household, chances are good it'll work with it. They do give you an anti-rattle bolt 
And what that's gonna do is eliminate any of the slop or play there in the connection point. And that's gonna help keep things uh, from slopping around and clunking around in there, making a bunch of noise. So give an example of that, let's say if we're going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see that the rack is gonna move with our forerunner and not on its own. So at the end of the day, uh, this is a good economical choice that's user friendly and is a nice bike rack for those of you trying to get out there and do some riding. And that'll finish up our look at of the Swagman XTC2 Tilt platform style bike rack on our 2015 Toyota 4Runner.